In this lesson, we are going to discuss acids, bases, and pH associated with that. By the end of this, we should know the properties of acids and bases. We should be able to identify simple acids and bases. We should be able to determine if the solution is acidic, basic, or neutral by looking at the pH. We should also understand the pH scale and how it relates to acids and bases. First off, an acid or base is just a classification of substance based on certain properties. And not everything has to be an acid or base. Some substances are n neither. So it, not everything has to be an acid or a base. And we'll talk about uh, substances that are neither afterwards. So first off, substances that are acids... They have H plus as an ion. That's the Arrhenius definition. And another way of saying that, a more broad definition, is they donate H plus ions in a reaction. And that's the Bronsted-Lowry definition. And that encompasses more. So we'll talk more about that later, and this is the definition we'll probably be using more of, uh, the Bronsted-Lowry definition. So some properties of acids are they taste sour, they react with metals, uh, to, uh, and they, uh, they tend to form hydrogen. They have a pH less than 7. Um, some examples of these are hydrochloric acid. HCl is the formula. And what happens is HCl breaks down into hydrogen ions plus Cl minus ions. And that's where the Arrhenius definition comes from. It has the H plus ion as a cation. Uh, sulfuric acid is H2SO4 and acetic acid is HCH3COO. Now some more common names for this, the common name for hydrochloric acid is stomach acid. Now uh, sulfuric acid is found in batteries and is battery acid. And the common name for acetic acid we find in everyday households is vinegar. Uh, now, bases are, some, are substances that have OH- as an anion. That's the Arrhenius definition. And they accept an hydrogen ion in, in a reaction. And that's the Bronsted-Lowry definition. So they accept hydrogen ions in a reaction is the broader definition. Um, some of the properties of bases are they taste bitter. Um, so when, for example, like mustard is, a, is, a, is slightly basic. Um, an example of uh, acid, it, it, uh, they tend to taste um, sour, like lemon juice is an acid. Um, Anyway, and more properties of bases are they feel slippery, they form soap with, when reacted with fats, and that's why they tend to feel slippery. So if you ever get, uh, if you're working with a base and your fingers feel slippery, that's because the base reacts with your oils on your skin to make soap. And they have a pH greater than 7. Some examples that we see are sodium hydroxide, and this is a good definition of the uh, Arrhenius, which makes Na, Na plus plus OH minus. Uh, calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, and ammonia, NH3. 
Common names are for sodium hydroxide is lye, used in soap making. Also, uh, you may have seen it in uh, if you watched the movie Fight Club ever. Uh, calcium hydroxide is slaked lime. And ammonia is ammonia. <laughs> and this is a good example of a Bronsted Lowry base. We'll talk a little bit more about that after. But before, we are going to move on to the pH scale. Now, the pH scale measures how acidic or basic a solution is. It's a logarithmic scale, and it goes from 0 to 14 normally. So, uh, what we have is a one molar solution, one molarity, HCl has a pH of 0, and a one molarity NaOH has a pH of 14. So, and 7 is considered neutral. So, 7 is uh, my neutral pH, and this is pure water. And as you get farther and further to, for, to zero from seven, you get more acidic. And as, as you go up from seven, you get more basic. Now, what it means to be a logarithmic scale is it refers to the power of ten. It's not a linear scale. So, uh, it's not like uh, a linear model, which you talk about in, in math, and you'll probably talk about logarithmic scales later. They refer to the power of 10. So if we look down here, a pH of 2 it, compared to pH of 3, pH of 2 is more basic because it has a, uh, sorry, excuse me, is more acidic than pH 3 because it has a lower pH. Now, it's a difference of 1 in pH scale, so it's, 10 to the 1 times more acidic. Uh, pH 1 is 100 times more acidic than pH 3. So pH 3 and 1, the difference is 2, so it refers to this power of 2 up here, 10 to the 2. Um, similar to that, uh, when you're referring to more solutions that are more basic, pH 10 is 10 to the 1 times more basic than pH 9. pH 10 versus pH 9, the difference of 9 and 10 is 1, so, pH 10 is 10 to the 1 times more basic than pH 9. Compare pH 10 to pH 7, the difference between 10 and 7 is 3, and that's where we get this power right here. 10 to the 3 is 1,000. Um, so, pH 10 is 1,000 times more basic than pH 7. So, think about this. Which one's more basic, 12 or 2? So, the more basic is the higher one pH 12 is 10 to the 10, because our difference here is 10. 12 minus 2 is 10. 10 to the 10 times more basic. And we'll, uh, later we'll do some more with formulas, but this is just the gist of it. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, be uh, doing this uh, next class, so get used to it.